The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to big pharma. The fight against the new world order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products, and get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com we want your soul. We want your soul. We want your soul. Defending the Republic from enemies, foreign and domestic. It's Alex Jones. Show us your habits, your facts, your fears. Give us your address, your shoe size, your years. The globalists have told us that the age of man is over. But the age of the technocracy with the elite becoming super empowered super beings merge with machines is here and that we should just kneel to their overwrite because resistance is futile and they're training us to live under soft martial law with total surveillance checkpoints police locking down whole areas of cities to do a SWAT raid on one house aiming guns at people in their cars people in their windows that's what we're about to talk about with Paul Watson. And then 21st century Paul Revere's. And we have a live video feed of that. We might be able to pop up here in a minute. 21st century Paul Revere's are massing at the corner of San Jacinto and Congress. Uh, maybe you can get uh, the guys to, to a pan because I saw a big shot earlier of folks with the guns out there. And are getting ready to march uh, to show that the Second Amendment is not dead and are getting ready to, to basically uh, show the world by exercising our rights openly that we are not slaves of the establishment. So you've still got time if you want to open carry, which is totally legal and lawful, to get to the corner of San Jacinto and Congress 
uh, and to march down towards the South by Southwest trendies with their Google glasses and drones and taser drones that are all being rolled out to condition them that resistance is futile. You go down and join Leanne McAdoo, Jakari Jackson, uh, and the rest of the crew. Kit Daniels is there uh, reporting. Uh, and we've got, uh, again, Jakari Jackson down there interviewing people for the Nightly News right now. We'll have live update feed with them in about 10 minutes. And then we're going to uh, march with them uh, in the next hour covering Second Amendment issues for the first half hour until Kathleen Willey, a rape victim, an assault victim of Lord Lord Clinton, uh, will will be joining us with her book out by WorldNet Daily. Uh, we've rescheduled that several times. That is happening today. Cross our fingers. Hope to die. Stick a needle in our eye. But uh, we're going to go to Paul Watson here first about one of the double links we've got up on DrudgeReport.com via PrisonPlanet.com and InfoWars.com. Homeland snipers terrorize confused residents during raid. And th th this is the new thing. Used to have a, was a backfire by a school. The police would... Uh, you know, lock down all the streets around it and point guns at people all over the country, including here in Austin. Uh, now it's locked down the whole neighborhood. Uh, or now if, if they're doing a SWAT raid, it's take over the neighbor's house to have a, quote, tactical advantage and arrest you if you don't give your house to them without a warrant. That's quartering troops in your house. Uh, and, and then now it's locked down the whole neighborhood. And now it's locked down the whole city. And now everyone's a suspect. Everyone's a terrorist. Oh, we're looking for a black guy who's shooting cops in L.A. Here, let's uh, shoot up vehicles full of... Uh, uh, white women that don't even match the vehicle. Well, that's okay because you know they might be terrorists too. Uh, this is just 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 part of the craziness. Or we're looking for a white male. Let's shoot up uh, a vehicle full of black people. Remember that happened in a case too. It's just just randomly. Oh, we're looking for a white guy. There's some black people. Open fire. Oh, we're looking for a black guy. Big black guy. Cop. Uh, Dorner. Let's just shoot some women. I mean, they shot three carloads of people, just totally insane in broad daylight, just, just randomly opening fire, running around scared to death. Statistically, cops had a better chance of being killed by a bolt of lightning than Dorner during that whole thing. Look it up. But they don't care. Just like hundreds die a year in gas main explosions. That's clearly what happened in Harlem. Pulmonary evidence is overwhelming. They're trying to say it's 9-11, folks. They're invoking every form of fear except for what's really dangerous. Great white sharks kill five people a year on average. Record 12 people. Everyone I know, most people will not go into the ocean and are constantly scared because they think great whites are about to eat them. And I know I beat that to death. That didn't happen until Jaws came out in 1970, whatever it was. And then the, the resorts had to put ads out saying there aren't sharks, they won't eat you. Because people are so scared, ladies and gentlemen, I keep hammering this because it's mind control. Now, joining us to show how we're going under martial law, not just here, but in England, they do the same thing now, uh, is Paul Watson to break down this incredible story. There's photos and videos up on Infowars.com of this. The story was up last night. Uh, it's already scrolled off the front page. It should be re-added to the front page. The best place to find it is the left-hand side of DrudgeReport.com. Uh, but... Um, Let's go to Paul Watson now from Albion, from London. Uh, Paul, uh, break down what's happening here. Well, this was a combined federal NYPD drugs bust in East Williamsburg in the early hours of Sunday morning. Basically started with a low-flying helicopter. They proceeded to block off some of the streets. And then the DHS goons descended with their flashlight snipers and pointed them at people who were in different buildings, not even involved, not even in the same building as the, where the drugs bus was taking place. So some of the quotes from the residents who were there were utterly confused and frankly terrorized during the incident because they would have DHS goons with snipers point them up at them as they looked out of the window and train the gun on their faces, even though they were in a completely different building. So again, it's, it's another one of these concerns about the militarization of domestic law enforcement. You remember back in August, we did the report out of New Hampshire, where they were trying to purchase this Bearcat armored vehicle, and a similar vehicle was used in the incident on Sunday. And the police chief there, John Duval, actually said that they needed this armored vehicle to use against groups such as sovereign citizens, free staters, and occupy New Hampshire. So even the police chief admitted that it's not for it's not for criminals, it's not for terrorists, it's for political extremists, basically anyone who protests against the government. 
That's right. And we have video compilations, Paul, of the thousands of armed police in camo, in black uniforms, in armored vehicles, literally running around where a woman walks out and they grab her and shove her down the porch. They're pointing guns at everybody in their houses. This is occupied America. And the religion is, quote, police safety. And so all of us basically are the enemy. And this has been a conversion by design, part of the, quote, North American Rand Corporation Stabilization Force. The National Stabilization Force is the martial law rollout plan incrementally. That's right, and it started back really in 1997, which is around the same time your first police state documentary came out, because that's when the Defense Department started paying out for this equipment, this military equipment, to be distributed to law enforcement agencies. So they spent $4.2 billion on that since 97, but then since the inception of Homeland Security, a separate payment of $34 billion in terrorism grants has gone to local police departments. And that's why now they dress like uh, military assets, basically, and treat us as the terrorists, because they're not fighting a war. Crime has gone down, but they have to arm up because now they're being trained that we're the threat, we're the extremists, we're the potential terrorists. So that's sure. why they're starting to look like military assets, because they're being told that the war is now domestic, that that's the right. United States is the battlefield. And just like them denying the NSA spying on everybody for the last 20 years, when it was already all public, basically, uh, the big news was is just they were lying about it the whole time, but they were lying about what was already pu public. And they would just go, nobody's doing that. It's a conspiracy theory. And they're like, no one's trained to take your guns. No one's training for martial law. When the army manuals, the police manuals, there's literally hundreds of them. The FBI came out in January of 2014 this year and said, our new mission is no longer crime. It is extremism. It is political policing, commissariat. I mean, this is it. And there's no doubting. And I'm not even trying to demonize the average FBI person or the average cop. One reason they haven't been able to have total tyranny take over yet is because there's still some basic common sense there, but they're getting rid of it. I mean, we see a bank robbery in California, and they, and they for 20 square miles, randomly have cops standing out aiming guns at people in their cars, walking up with M16s to people's heads that don't even match the description. And then the next car comes up and they aim guns at their head. I mean, I'm going to get mad when I pull up and the cops are aiming guns at everybody's head. Now, if I was driving down the road and they said... Red Chevy pickup truck, white male driving, just shot and killed, uh, you know, two people in a front lawn, armed and dangerous. And I heard that on the radio, and then I drove up to a checkpoint, and they weren't aiming guns at anybody, but I was driving a red pickup, and they aimed guns at me, I'd put my hands up and get out. But I'd pull up to a check, because that's probable cause. That, that's, you've got uh, some evidence there. You know what you're looking for. I pull up to one of these checkpoints where they're aiming guns at people's heads. I'm going to get mad, man. Every, every car, you put a gun to their head. This is pure martial law Fallujah crap. And I'm sorry, Paul, go ahead. Final comments. Well, I mean, that's exactly what the former colonel, Peter Martino, said in New Hampshire during his public testimony. Marine Corps colonel. He was colonel. in Iraq. Yeah. He was in Fallujah. He was in he 10 tours of combat, different tours, yes. Exactly. And he said, you know, he trained the Iraqi army. He was in Fallujah. He said, this is exactly what's happening. They're building a domestic army. He was a colonel in Iraq. This is not us saying it. This is... Uh, decorated professionals saying it. So they're also building towns in, in Virginia, as we saw a few weeks ago with Christian churches, you know, American signs, fully operational subways. They're preparing for the occupation. Whether it actually happens or not remains to be seen, but there's no doubt that they're, that's what they're gearing up for. Paul, what was the headline on your article? There it is. U.S. Army builds fake city in Virginia to practice military occupation. And the London Telegraph spun it saying, oh, uh, or it was the Daily Mail, oh, it's, it's, it's a mosque, it's a Baptist church, folks, and they literally train to gun confiscate, and it's on record they're training for it. Well, yeah, there was, there was, actually there were both. There was a mosque and a Christian church, so they basically want to occupy everyone. But all the signs were in English, you know, they had subways with the Washington decals on them, so it was very much designed to be a domestic American city. It wasn't set up as a as a Middle Eastern city. Sure, sure. I mean, Northcom has all announced this, Brigade Homeland, Army Time, Stars and Stripes. It's all public, but they keep telling the, 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 the general public and mainstream media it doesn't exist because they don't want to have a debate about the illegal federalization, militarization, 
via Northcom. That's like they don't want people knowing drones are watching farmers, even though it's public. They don't want, they don't want to have a debate about 2.6 billion bullets and, and targets of the average American and training to